let's talk about Ryan Crosby. And guess what? I see the comments and stab and I run across the Barreled Surf podcast. They comment ELO 2.0 question mark. So I'm stealing that from you guys. I don't know who wrote it. it may have been Namu, but that was a classic <laughs> because <laughs> they not only kind of look the same, they come from somewhat entertainment industry, but um, I, I did a little research on this guy. Do you know much about him? And what do you think about an American, another American entertainment Hollywood guy coming oh, into no. this post? Yes. Oh, you, might, you might just get Oprah Win Winfrey. Uh, <laughs> they got her main guy, Eric Logan. That didn't go well. Listen, I, uh, I don't know the guy. Um, Dave said, I, I don't want to um, just, you know, jump for the throat. And, um, but uh, it's not looking good. If, if Namas <laughs> put, is Ron Crosby, the ELO 2.0. Um, yeah. It's, it makes me worry a little bit that uh, maybe surfing's not, for the hardcore surf fan, is surfing going to head in the direction we want it to be? I don't know. And therein lies the question. Can I bring up this topic? Like, why is it so, why is it that they haven't had, I mean, can you guys, I'm sure you can name the last surf enthusiast, active historical surfer that has been in charge of the WSL? Like, yeah, why one, guy, so comes, one guy comes to mind right away, but go ahead. I'm sorry, I, I, I talked over you because it had a delay. It's okay. Why why is that some I mean, I understand they want to run a business now and they're trying to change the format and they want to turn the script. Like there's a bunch of business stuff they want to get done, but it seems like there's gotta be some passionate, uh, you know, older, sort of retired surfer out there who was in it and could step up and become a CEO of this this franchise. A I core, mean, a core surfer, yeah. Um or they don't uh, want the job, maybe. <laughs> That's I was going to say that that is exactly right. Bob Hurley doesn't want that job and Bob Hurley would be incredible at that job, but he's got his hands full with John Florence, uh, Florence Marine. Um, t -Bone, what do you think about that? Why isn't there a core surfer? Oh, geez. Well, maybe core surfers maybe don't have, uh, Maybe some maybe some core surfers don't have that experience from a business perspective as well because it is a business. So you need to have Absolutely. some now uh, and, and some vision on where surfing wants to go. You can't just go, all right, mate, just stick it in the best waves and she'll be right. So uh, having, having a hardcore surfer and someone who's a really good business person is, is, is probably not out there. There's, there's probably not many candidates out there that, um, that fall in that category. So hence why um, they're, they're looking at the ELO 2.0s. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but what I think what most people, most surfers think is we're never going to compete with the other big prime sports you know the nba the nfl the you know we're, we're always going to be that small niche hardcore following sport where doesn't matter what you do i just think we're, we're never going to compete um and another thing um elo did that that um that was pretty shit he, he didn't promote the big wave world tour and if you remember when they ran the Eddie Icao, that event went viral. That went worldwide. That's when you got people that were really mm -hmm. interested in surfing because the people that don't surf probably find it boring. But when it's when there's something that's got a lot of consequences, um, you know, people get interested. So I hope the new CEO bears that in mind, um, and, and you know, and just brings back some of the some the, the big wave world tour bring that back probably reduce the field and hold it in pumping conditions that's that's it <laughs> have they have they learned anything from nathan florence who's kicking their ass in all the metrics um in real numbers and i don't know if you watch nathan florence adventures it, he's i think everyone does and that's entertainment. And he's just a regular guy doing his thing. If they could do some version of that without all the fluff, that'd be incredible, dude. Let's get 10 of you on a plane and we're going to Ireland to surf Mulligmore. 
and we're going to judge it and it's going to be low impact. We're going to have cameras set up. We're going to set up a satellite and pump it out to the universe and see what happens. I, I think that's, that's key, but I want to go backwards and say the last CEO hardcore surfer would have to be rabbit Bartholomew, I, I think. Um, and it was like his vision. He takes a lot of credit for it when he gets on the show and I love him for that. But his vision was to, you know, best ways, um, best surfers. And he started with that, but I think it, you don't necessarily have the business acumen and you said it, it's, it's hard to find that person. And Stab did an article about some of the candidates they liked. I think Pat O'Connell was in there. Um, I don't know if Bob Hurley was, but he should have been. And there were a few others um, that were more or less qualified. But um, I want to say I did a little research on this guy. And okay. he's and he's not uh, here. Here's what I know about him. He's not the Eric Logan um, has one superpower, which is television. And he worked for Oprah for a long time. And the other thing Eric got really good at being in that corporate situation was I don't know if you ever watched an interview with a guy, but he was slippery, man. Uh he was on with Lipped and they couldn't get an, a straight answer out of the guy. Yeah. And he was kind of brought in to introduce all these new programs and, and that didn't help him. Um, but I will say that this guy, he, hold on, I've got something going on here. This guy has a wide range of skills. He's been in several different kinds of companies. He's been in gaming. He's been in, entertainment and television and he's had different jobs within those from marketing to production and i know he's a corporate somebody said it here he's a corporate geek but the thing is imagine this world that this guy is smart enough to hire a hardcore surfer to run that part of the operation a no-nonsense let's give on blakey let's get I, I mean i know that's crazy but no, let's get a hardcore surfer who's into it, who understands that part of the business and then let him run the other part of the business. And guess what he's done in three different companies? He's run their subscription models. He's increased their subscription models, particularly in Hulu. And so you all see what's coming. What they're going to do is get this guy to put together some sort of subscription so the WSL can pay for itself. So that's my take on it is that this guy's coming in to make some money and I, I don't know him. I, I hope he's, I hope he's good at his job and surprises us because we, we are already <laughs> grumbling, dude. We, we've already had the worst, um, the, the worst of it. And we still don't know what happened to Elo. If anyone knows, please give me your wrong answer on the, in the chat. Um, go ahead, T-Bone. You're going to say something there. No, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about Elo. Hey, um, but is this confirmed or what? Because because what Waz will do really poorly is communicate to their fans. Oh, so um, so on point. Yes, it is is this confirmed? I believe it is. Um, he his his LinkedIn um, page says his office is in Santa Monica. Mm. Um, but it doesn't list the World Surf League yet. I think that's right. coming. Um, wh what were you gonna? What else were you gonna say? You were gonna say well, something? Um, yeah. Uh, well, I guess what I hope is that that someone below him is is sort of at the front line, really deciding whether you know you run the event or not. Because I mean. You're not going to be asking Ryan Crosby, um, shall we run at the box or main break? He wouldn't have a clue. Right. So it's just having just having having that really good support staff, but giving them the power to ultimately um, execute. You know, each of these events in, in, in the countries, um, and, and not and not try be um, as controlling as Elo was, who who um, just went too far and didn't let. You know, didn't let the people that were in the organization that knew that you know knew how to run the events were surfers and knew what the surfers want. So hopefully he won't be like Elo, 
he'll, he'll let the people below him um, ultimately influence how these events are held and, and where and, and, and run. Yeah, I think good managers um, work through others and delegate projects to people who are smarter than them in certain areas. And I think you nailed that. And, and somebody in here wrote um, the perfect job for Kelly in retirement. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to have the goat. And I know he owns a piece of the WSL. It wouldn't be bad to have the goat as some kind of consultant even. And he could travel to the sites and he could, you know, uh, go out and surf and do a little show for everybody. And go, yep, I agree. This is pretty good. You know, like if there's anyone who's discerning about surf spots, it's the goat, you know, I'm not going to go to Margaret river, but you know, I'm going to go to cure if it's pumping and figure out a way to do that. Exactly. Yeah. I think he's been over in the gold coast right now. He's probably looking at the forecast right now on the gold <laughs> coast while he's just inside the tube at Kira going, uh, probably won't run on Thursday, but I'll, uh, yeah, shoot over next week. I feel like his hips starting to bother him right now. Yeah. Well, hope yeah. Um, hope, hopefully we'll, we'll get him, mate. I'll, I'll be asking him if he's interested, if he wants to uh, play, a, play a part in the Wazzle going forward. Dude, I can't believe you've got the whole tour coming to you. And last year, you guys asked some great questions. I hope you get some more interviews. I, I look forward to seeing those. Um, and you guys, that's the Barrel Podcast. Check it out. They're going to be on the ground when the uh, event is happening and probably some downtime in between. And I don't know if you guys have a camera, but get out there and shoot some of those secret spots and then like flip the image over. And it looks like a right instead of a lefties. Yeah. You know, like, mate, stuff like that. We need you over here, mate. Can you come and help us out with the, with the video? You, you I the, was just going to say OSD is available. If you need a OSD, camera. <laughs> OSD is the man on the video. He just got That's, a new drone. So. Yeah, I got another drone. Like, I needed another drone. This will be the third one. This was cool. I can't wait to tell you about it. You'll see it in El Salvador. But, dude, I would love to. And um, you might see a Holly Heidi and Old Surf Dad um, tour next year that we hope so. I would love to do that. I would love to be back in West Oz. It'd be really cool to see you guys. But um, um, here is some other takes what about ace bucking um and Not this bad. guy yeah that's a good one i ain't gonna pay to watch wsl and i've said this on this show before i'm gonna say this real quick and see if you agree or disagree with this t-bone dude i will give them 10 bucks a month or 100 dollars a year or whatever it is so i don't have to see the same old tired ads and and add some content to that don't just make it like dead time, like they do on YouTube and just give us that blank screen, but add something, um, go talk to a shaper, do some, or leave the goddamn heat on. Don't cut away. And then we come back. Oh, here's the replay that you guys missed because we had to pay bills. Do that between heats, do that as it changes or find a way to fit that in or the paid subscription. We can watch continuous content and you can go to split screens and do interviews. And I think, you could do that. If somebody has to look out to see, tell me if I'm wrong here, T-Bone. How many times is it they're doing an interview and they haven't looked out to see and gone, okay, there's no sets coming. All right, let's do the interview. Mm. And I know it's probably hard for the surfers, but goddamn, how many times have I seen where they're interviewing someone and it's pumping and you're watching this little teeny, who is that? And like, come on, you guys. But yeah, I would pay for it. I know there's a lot of people who wouldn't, but I'm that core fan. And maybe this guy, Ryan Crosby, is going to help develop those of us who do that. Would you pay, T-Bone? I would if the waves are pumping. Um, oh, good point. It's, 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 you know, our sport, we rely on Mother Nature to provide the platform. Um, mm. It's not like boxing or, or uh, you know, sports like that. Um, I would, for sure. 100% I would. Um, but... Uh, if I know the forecast is going to be one foot dribbly Brazil, I ain't, I ain't paying for it. Um, same with, you know, I could say the same for the local two foot Southwest Mart river, bumpy Margaret river. I probably wouldn't pay for it. Right. I just, um, I, I'd really tune in if the, if the ways were going to be on, 
I'd, I'd be more yeah. than happy to I'd be more than happy to pay. I got no no qualms with that because we we want to watch professional surfing. I mean, they you know sometimes you've got to pay for it, right? I mean. Uh, the amount of money must go in to set up the broadcasting and the, just all the staff and the event. It's 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 a lot of money, as you would know, mate. So, yeah, I would pay. Yeah, I think what could possibly come with that is less reliance on sponsors that aren't good for the sport or w. I don't want to call it a sport. Aren't good for surfing hmm. and could help them maybe break away from Brazil. Like Brazil's a huge market though. So you have yeah. to consider how huge that market is, but do we really need to go to Saquarema? And Saquarema's had some decent waves. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, like I would rather see, you know, the world's best ways. I want to see something special and putting Fiji back on the calendar. Let's replace Saquarema with Fiji and let's, put J Bay back on there. And then 100%. now we're talking, now we're talking and hundred percent, maybe less reliance on those sponsors that bring us to those places. I forget. Um, it's a T-Mobile type. Co it's a mobile company out there in Brazil. Hello or something. I forget what it is, but it's probably a significant chunk of change. And I know um, El Salvador, which is not a bad way. We didn't, haven't gotten it great the last two times, but, that place pumps. They just haven't been lucky. And the country there, the government pays them, I think, a million dollars, dude. Here, come on in. Promote us, you know? Um, I, think but anyway. I think they'll probably end up wanting to go the way of, of a stab a stab situation where it's an app on your TV. I mean, we have the app now that we've watched it on, and I just think it'll be, you know, 10, 15 bucks a year, and you get – everything the WSL creates and offers, including the contest season. Yeah, and you all mean the other contests that they have that they run that we don't often tune in for, not just the major CT event. Yeah, if they did some kind of behind the scenes, um, they've they've done poorly with that because I think Eric Logan was in control of it and he just <laughs> doesn't have Well, an maybe this here. Ryan Crosby will bring a new uh, new vision to it. I hope it. so, because they can make this entertaining, more dude. Yeah. yeah.